others who don't know Jesus. And Jesus is coming soon, and God bless you. Today, I'm going to be talking about what have we been talking about at my church Sunday is God's grace. God's grace is so sustaining. And when you truly think about what God has done on the cross for you in our sins, His grace is so efficient and so everlasting that it's just amazing to think of, you know, because of all the things that He has done for us and how He could, and that He is so loving and so kind and so, I can't explain it. It's just, His grace is so loving. Like we sing, I'm sure you've heard of the song Amazing Grace. It goes, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Sorry, I'm looking for my rag. I was from right for go to work. That's why I keep looking that way. I'm not trying to roll my eyes. Um, but yeah, Jesus, God's love is so, God's grace is like so amazing that if you don't know Jesus, I pray right now that you'd be filled, by, filled with the Holy Spirit of conviction in Jesus' name. For those who do not know Jesus. And if you don't know him, turn to him today. Because he is coming soon, very soon, he's going to split the sky wide open, the sound of a trumpet, and catch us all of his Christians in the air and take them home. And you do not want to be here for the suffering of the tribulation when Satan is going to spread all of his lies and the seed and make him wonders that he is going to be God and all kinds of stuff like that. But yeah, God's grace is so amazing. But um, just to turn to Jesus, just admit you're a sinner. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Repent of your sins and you'll be safe. For in his word says, whoever shall call upon the name Lord shall be saved. Well, God bless you guys. And Jesus comes in and he loves you. And God bless you.